So in this video I'm going to show you how to plot a scatter graph in GeoGebra, which does it quite well, possibly better than Excel. I'm going to grab a spreadsheet and put the data I used in the previous video uh, in here as well. This is the data from the cars data set. You can see I've got engine capacity and the fuel usage here. Uh, you can see the previous video to check what the, uh, the information about this data is. But to plot the scatter graph is dead easy in GeoGebra. Select the data that you want. I'm holding down control to grab both of those columns. And then from this button at the top left here, get the drop down and click on two variable regression analysis, which sounds quite technical but it just means I want to analyze those two variables which look like this. Uh, the nice thing about this is it's recognized there's text in the top fields and I can tell it to use that as a title for the data. So I've got a title engine capacity and the metric combined fuel usage there. I click on analyze and it immediately draws a scatter diagram. There are a few problems like with the Excel thing, these blobs are quite large but there are some more useful things that we can do on this. You can see it's labeled the axes nicely as well. Um, if I wanted to for example put this into a situation where I could change the scales, I could easily do that by clicking on copy to graphics view and there it has turned up, if I just close that, it's turned up in the graphics view, I can zoom out and I can adjust the scales, anything I like, holding down shift and grabbing that or grabbing this. Uh, I can also change the size of the blobs to make this a little bit more readable. So the blobs are just in a list of coordinates. If I right click that list and click on object properties, I can change all the visual things like I could change the style. Uh, I could change these to crosses, which may be more uh, familiar, and maybe make them a little bit smaller so they get less in the way of each other. And when I close that, you can see that that's my nice looking data set, which I can zoom in and out of and generally do what I want with. And we'll cover what I might want to do with these uh, bits of pretty pictures of data in another video.